um, earn my respect in the industry or earn my place in the industry. But that is not something I took in a negative way. That was something that I had to do. And right. I, should, I should do. It wasn't like with one movie when some people come, they're instantly de declared the next big thing or you know, the next superstar. That never happened with me. So for me, it was, it was each step at a time, just trying to do a little better. And I felt that I needed to do that. I didn't mm. take it in a negative way. So I always felt a huge sense of belonging. Tell me a bit about yourself. You say when you came here on assignment, I assumed, as I think that many people in this hall, that you were actually brought up in London. And I read an interview recently where you said you weren't brought up in London. You just were educated there for three years. And you tell us a bit about yourself. <laughs> that would take a very long time. That's a bit. why I actually. A bit. Not the whole story. <laughs> yeah, a a short story? Yeah. Short version? The pricey. Yeah. Okay. Now, actually, I was born in Hong Kong, and um, then we traveled quite a lot. My mom's involved in charity work, so her job always took us to many different countries. So, actually, the only time I was in London was the three years before I came to India, which was between the ages of 14 and 17. Okay. So, that's why people often, you know. Um, Make that assumption. Shahrukh is, is also, falling to sleep, by the way. No, so no, just, I'm just surprised. No, 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 Every now and then, just kick him. I, 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 you know, I thought you were English, you're Chinese, but Hindi, Chinese, bye bye. I have a problem with this. Why? I thought she was, you know, English. So I'm talking about Gauri Lalki. I thought she was English. I thought she was English. I also thought you were like English or brought up in London. It's the accent that does it, no? If you hear it carefully. There is a little Chinese in it. There's Chinese in it? Caref ca carefully. Actually, <laughs> that is actually racist, but never mind. <laughs> Shaukh, that's the last time I defend you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, so you're really from an international background? Um, yeah, I think I've been brought up in so many different countries, which is also why I think that I'm able to adapt. And, you know, when I came here, there was no culture shock or there was no yeah. um, you know, sense of feeling awkward or away from home because my home really has always changed. Okay. So you know, every two, three years we were moving to a different country so I didn't have that sense of I'm leaving my home and coming to, um, to India. It was kind of, I think in a way I was looking for a home and I found it here. So okay. in a sense my greatest sense of belonging is here. Is language a problem? Because I was asking people before we did this, I tweeted and I asked friends what they wanted me to ask you. And one thing people asked, my friend Mohit from Ajtak asked if I would ask you, how much of a problem the language has been? Initially, of course, um, I had to learn it. It was an alien language to me. Um, I got some when did you actually learn it? I got some very good advice from Aki, actually uh, Jackie Shroff, who told me first learn how to read, because that will help you a lot. But um, now it's been quite a few years working, yeah. so I can understand perfectly. I'm very comfortable with my dialogues, with my dubbing. Um, but I was actually just discussing this on the plane with Shao coming here, that because I don't think in Hindi, I think in English. So that but is, I think that's true of many of us. Yeah, that's what he was explaining to me. Yeah. So he was actually... Do you think in Hindi or English? <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I think in English. Yeah, many he, of us he, do. He's actually it. promised but to in dedicate the, in, in, in the, three in, days in, a week uh, to uh, helping in me. In the plane <laughs> to impress her and get a date with her, I was saying I think in Hindi. You should spend more time <laughs> with me. No, but so seriously, is it a struggle sometimes? Like I read, it, again, Mohit told me this, that there was an interaction with media and various Hindi journalists berated you mm. for not being able to speak as good Hindi as they would like. Mm. Is that a problem? See, honestly, from, if I was 100% honest, then I would love for Hindi to be my first language because that's the language I'm acting in. Yeah. But, I mean, life is um, not perfect. It's not my first sure. language. I do as, I, I do as um, you know, well as I can, I work as hard as I can, but the struggle is more for me. I mean, sure. you know, if for, if for another person who, for whom Hindi is their first language, they'll probably be able to see the lines five minutes before, stay up late the night before, go out for a party, come onto the set yeah. and be fine. But for me, if I know that, I, I'll have to put in that extra time, you know, make sure I'm extra prepared. That's okay. No, also, I think, it's I mean, my journey. I mean, you know, having sure. spent time with her during the interviews now, I yeah. think what I realize is, like when she's doing her lines and stuff, she's fantastic because she's learned them, prepared them. Uh, but you know, during the interviews, and uh, it's not that she can't speak, I think. It's just that because she falters a bit or has to think a little longer before she gets the construction right, she feels that she's wasting time of others. So she'd rather, you know, like if you and I and we yeah. four people are doing an interview. So she's like, listen, I just quickly, I'll be you know, better expressive in terms of uh, even expressing myself in English. It'll take a little while, I can, so can we just do this in English? So I think that, that was the reason which it sounded a little odd that a journalist should, you know, get up and... Uh, and berate her. Yeah, yeah. Also, nice. also, someone has to give me 
a lecture or, or a lesson on that, and yeah. many of my friends do. Yeah. I mean, there's been many times where someone will, you know, say, come on, you can do it, just put some more work into it. But it should be within the film industry that I, that I work in, I, I, fe I felt. That's Explain that. In other words, like, Shao can say it, because he's my co-actor. Yes, you can, you know, could have said it, or the directors you work with. But, you know. That sounds a lot like my peers can say it, but who are you bloody journalists to say it to me? <gasps> That's how it's coming across. No, no, no that never, you, no. That isn't what you mean, I hope. No, of course no, that, not. That really wasn't our intention at yeah. all. Okay, yeah. What was the intention? Shark. Not at all. No. <laughs> I think you're making it worse. No, no, actually, not, actually I, I had no problem with what he said. Um, yeah. my, only, my only comment on that would be, with, you must say whatever you need to say. This is a, you know, yeah. please uh, express your opinion, but just say it a little nicely. That's fair, that's reasonable. That's soft. Politeness, courtesy, yeah. no, I'm done yeah. with Like I do. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> More seriously, Katrina talked about the pressures of being a star. Part of these pressures is, of course, what she said, always being under scrutiny. Part of it is coping with rumors about your behavior in public. Part of it is coping with rumors about your private life. Does it get to you now? Um, again, my, my issue is if it was just me, I can deal with it now because I've accepted. As a matter of fact, let me be very honest. Um, in the last five, seven years, I have, uh, it, it more than sobering down, I have just become this person who accepts a lot. Because I think stardom, my being an actor, being in Mumbai, the acceptance that I've got from millions of people, and the wonderful job that I do, because of which I think my family is what it is, I, I suddenly, somewhere, last five, six years ago, I decided, uh, it's not a price to pay, I have to accept this. And I'm accepting of it. So if I have an issue with someone, the best I do is not talk with them. I feel bad. I feel extremely bad. I get extremely, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't take it as a job. I've never taken acting or being in films as a job. So there are nights and evenings and days which I keep talking about. I do feel lonely. I cry a lot. I get very, very disturbed with certain things. I'm going to stop so you I, there. You cry a lot? Yeah. Really? It's good practice for like the kind of films Like when and how? No, seriously. Don't make a joke. Yeah, I get You I cry get, about I get, alone at home when yeah, you cry? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 um, um, it is difficult at times, you know, and then people do tell me that I expose a lot of my private life publicly, but I don't think this is a private life. It just hurts me. It disturbs me. There are times when I sit down with people and try to explain to them that, listen, this is not the way to deal with my life and say this. But I know, you know, you just need a bite. You need a sound bite. You need a headline. You've gone, done it as a joke. And um, it gets to me at times, yeah. It gets very sad and lonely, and I'll be very honest. I cover it up with a facade of being humorous and having fun all the time. And um, a lot of it is that. A lot of my sense of humor and joking in public is, listen, uh, I, feel, I feel sad about um, having reached where I have reached sometimes. Uh, and I can't do much about it. Uh, so I've accepted it. And um, I don't know how I take it. Sometimes I'm angry, sometimes I'm not, sometimes I ignore it, sometimes I'll just sit down. I can't talk to anyone about it, to be honest. But it gets a um, little depressing now because my kids are growing up. And uh, one is 15, one is uh, 12 and a half. And uh, now they read, they want to ask. I, I'm, I was very clear when I had my children that they should not get, uh, you know, overshadowed by the name in the positive or the negative way. So, yeah, it, it um, you know. It does how, get to you? Like when you say, how do I deal with it? I deal with it as anyone would, uh, with being sad, with overlooking it sometimes, uh, yeah, with everything, aggression. And disturbance. The image of Shah Rukh Khan sitting alone, lonely at home, and crying is one that most people in this room will find hard to believe because that's not your public image at all. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's a, a part of my public image, as Katrina also mentioned. Yeah. Is, is, uh, I'm, I, like I've said, I'm an employee of the image that I've created. And that image is happy go lucky and always exuberant and uh, pretty and wonderful and. Uh, uh, talks about love and goodness. Um, yeah, so I, I'm just an employee, and as employees would know, they got to do what the boss uh, tells them to do. So yeah, but, but there are days when the employee is not happy, yeah. and uh, you know, I don't even have a address, so I can't write a letter to the employer and say, listen, dude, can you do some roles which make people look okay that if I'm aggressive and sad? So you can't, and uh, I just, and, 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 and it's not a sad place to be. If I was given a choice again in my life, I'd do exactly the same. What kind of thing makes you cry? 
I mean, I, I tell you, I mean, I, you know, when uh, the cricket was being played, I think some cricketers were talking before we came in. Yeah. Uh, cricket was being played, and then it all, you know, became about me being the reason of uh, completely screwing up. Screwing up is we can use here. Yeah, you can use it. Yeah, yeah. Rajdeep is here. He doesn't seem to mind. For it. It's going on television. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Katrina, what's the proper word? Yeah. Uh, messing, messing. So thanks. Thanks. So mess, messing up. Mishandling. Uh, huh? Mishandling. Miss Mishandling. <coughs> lived in London. Uh, sure. Allegedly mishandling. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, they, they were, they, they, you know, just, just I'm responsible for this. And I had some wonderful cricketers also giving quotes and, you know, movie stars should not run a team and, you know, things just went out of hand. And I'm bloody losing. You know, it's not nice to lose. Nobody likes to lose. And suddenly, you know, you're standing on those balconies and I love cricket. I love sports. I genuinely do. But it just came on so strong that it became a very lonely place. I couldn't explain to anyone that, listen, I'm not losing. You know, and if in sports you lose, and it's all right. And it, it, you know, but don't make it about me being a yeah. failure about this. So it, 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 it hurt a lot. Those were days a lot of crying happened, especially in South Africa when we lost nine matches in a row. That was pathetic. I mean, that would have made anyone cry, really. <laughs> okay, to move away from the slightly maudlin subject, move on to cricket. Since you're on the subject of cricket, there's something everybody wants to know. Are you at all ashamed by the way you treated Shaurav Ganguly? No. No? No. You think you treated him fine? Yeah, absolutely. The way he was humiliated by your team, that was okay? We, we humiliated him? Yeah, you did. My team did? They should yes. apologize. <laughs> I didn't. You're not, you're not, you don't, no, but no regrets, you don't feel bad. I have no regrets at all. I think, you know, it's a sport. And you go on and, um, you know, the team decides, the coaches decide, and I'm not being diplomatic at all because while coming in the plane, I decided I won't be diplomatic about this. Okay, fair enough. Katrina. Yeah, I'm doing it, okay? Yeah, you're doing fine. Yeah. He's, he's yeah, no, I'm, I'm well, not apologizing. Is he doing I okay? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, I think we treated him well enough. And uh, having said that, I think, you know, he's, he's one of the greatest players the country has. But in that part of format of cricket, three years later, maybe the team management didn't think, uh, you know, he kinds of fit. And, you know, I, to, to be honest, we took a big chance to be in Kolkata and not have Dada in your team. I mean, you know, effigies were burnt yeah. and everything. So you had to stand by your decision. And it was the decision of the 25-member team that we carry. I had to carry the brunt and answer all those questions. I think I did in quite a uh, manly, upstanding way. And uh, beyond that, I think we've proven it that this is the team which works best for us under the leadership of Gotham and uh, the team management we have. So, so uh, no regrets? No regrets at all, actually. No, no right, regrets okay. at all. No. Okay. To move away from cricket, are you sporty? She's an athlete. She's an athlete, right? Yeah. I, I used to think I was fast at running. I used to think I was very good at cricket. Um, then I tried both with Shah Rukh and um, now I don't think I'll She do tried it again. to run away from me, but I caught her. <laughs> <laughs> and on a slightly more serious note, he talks about being emotional, about being upset, about being lonely, about crying. There is that cliche about it being lonely at the top. Are you also an emotional person? Or are you as sort of cool as you appear on camera? thinking of a good answer. Hold on. You have an honest one. It's always the best. Yeah. And um, that won't take time. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I can. Huh? It's, 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 let us. At that top, it is lonely. At this top, and all, it's kind of. Okay. He's tried to save you, but I'm He checking. tries to be nice, but inside, what he really feels just keeps coming out. <laughs> he, try, he suppresses it, and then he's like, oh. Yeah. But are you like the... It's okay, you, you're, one, you're a cancer. Even if you don't love me, I love you. Fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank are you a cancer? I'm a cancer, yeah. So that, does that mean you're the emotional type who sort of yeah. cries often? Yeah, extremely. Extremely. Yeah. And um, I think I, I learned, I had to learn not to be so sensitive. The first, yeah. I remember the first day on... Um, a Hindi film set for me was a film called Hamko Divana, and it was uh, with Akshay Kumar, a director called Raj Kanwar, who's now no more. And just the people and just the atmosphere and being around Akshay, I don't know if you've ever met him, he's very no, tall, and I was, at that time I was 18, and I, d I looked at him, and he doesn't speak, and he wasn't speaking to me. You know, he just maybe didn't know me. And I went home, and I started crying my eyes out, and my friend was laughing at me. See, I told you, you wouldn't be able to do it. So. I mean, in initially, I think everything overwhelmed me, and I was too afraid of too many things. But I think that that's, that's the challenge that, that life, so no more life gives you. You know, there was, there was two years where I spent almost every night crying. I think I've done my quota. Two <laughs> years? Yeah. Two years? Yeah. Why? 
too many new experiences and too many, too many, um, you know, growing up, too many disappointments. You don't.